Welcome to our lecture, Employers Who Have Been Non-Compliant. One way to verify that the employer that is offering you a job in Canada is a legit one and is approved by Immigration Canada is to visit the page included in the link provided in the lecture and there you can check the list of the government of those employers who have been found to be not compliant with the foreign worker program. As we can see here, we have the name of the employers, this is the business operation name, the legal name, their address, here this one is located in Power River, British Columbia. Here you're going to see the reason for why they are not in compliance, the date of the final decision. Here you will see the penalty that the employer suffered and the status. It is they can still be eligible to become part of the temporary foreign worker program. And if you can see in Alberta we have Domino's Pizza. There's a Domino's Pizza franchise probably in Alberta. This is the address. Again, it really will help you sort the employers to make sure you don't make a mistake because if you get an offer from these employers, at the time you go to apply for a work permit or even for the LMI process, this employer will not be able to continue the process and you won't be able to get a work permit because they are not eligible. They are in non-compliant employers, okay? So here we can continue the pages. You have the list keep on going. You can actually filter also these choices. Let's say I want to check the one in Ontario. And it's gonna show me all the employers in Ontario. Or maybe you say hey, the, the employer is actually in Montreal. And the page will filter every single employer in Montreal. Basically here, there's only two employees in Montreal that have been found to be compliant, that's good news. So most of the employers in Montreal that are using the system are basically filling the requirements and they are in compliance. So the information is here. It's important for you to use it either if you're going to use a temporary foreign worker program or you're going to use the international mobility program the information is available in the government of canada website and here you can explain the reason why employers were found no non-compliance for example when they say here reason number nine or reason number one depending on the employer you can check the legend here of the, the explanation of why they are not in compliance and you have around 17 reasons here and that's basically a summary more information of course you can check in the regulations of the immigration law in Canada so it's an interesting tool please take a look and always make sure the offers that you get just get the name of the employer look it up here so you make sure you're not doing anything that will end up in a shady situation and don't waste your time and your money. I hope you enjoy this lecture and thank you very much.